morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori, girl on the bridge. It is early Friday morning. I mean, before six, six o'clock. The birds are singing and it woke me up. So I figured, well, I'll go get up. So today, with my cappuccino, it's already hot, half gone. I'm going to make, and again, it's nothing new. This was um, a recent video on uh, Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, her mask makes policy envelopes. And I thought, ooh, that's something I need. So you can always watch her video, but I'm just going to she did make this cute little pocket. I'm going to do this, take an envelope, make a pocket, and then take the top, and cut it open. Alright, so, make sure I do this right. So how's everybody doing? We had such a good time in our... If you haven't watched our live, you got to go back and watch it. we got a project going on. Um, it's going to be really fun. It's kind of like making a joint journal all together. Um, let's see. Let's do some... I'm trying to use up my paper packs. So I had this paper pack. Oh, green. Use up these papers. Then I will go back and embellish them. According to my um, general store, I love how she does it. Let's do this first. I mean, I didn't have a paper trimmer. Oh, wait, I do like three of them. Let's just use the scissors so it can be crooked. <laughs> it's so pathetic. <laughs> so we're covering this up. And then we'll cut this off. And then she did. We will do the little hole in here, so it'll be easier to. Actually, I just made this a double pocket because you got in between here and then in between here and there. Okay, so this one we go in here if it fits and it doesn't. I love her mask makes because it just reminds you of all the things that you could do. So you put that in there, right? Like fold it over and then you fold it over. And I'm not worried about this be not matching because I'll, this will be all inked up. And then I'm going to... Fold it up, cover it up there, okay, so now we'll just put the ink in here, ink, um, glue, Do the back side. Probably a good idea. Do the back side. Okay. And I might as well ink. Okay. Okay. 
You know, I don't know if I was supposed to do the opposite sign. I might have to rewatch the video. <laughs> I guess it really don't matter. But it's going to be glued down to a page. And then she took another piece. Straight at all. Right, let's try this again. Let's try it again. This way. This is so crooked. Hold it over. So I don't need that much of a hinge, so we'll cut that. I guess you can decorate the back if you don't want to. If you're not going to lay this flat in the book, which I am because this is going to go with my. um. Uh, general store book. So just as long as it's not too wide. A tad bit wide. And then we're just going to glue this. I like this. Okay. A little crooked, but you know, we'll make it work. I'll know better the next time. And then we will take. Oh, let's see. What do I got here? I need something. I'm not too fond of this tag, so. Take this. I lost my pokey tube somewhere. It's got to be on here. It had to fall behind something. Oh, there it is. And this, you know what? This may need to be cardstock. Let's see what I got for brands. Ooh, big brands. We're just going to do it for. Just because this is what I got out. And I think. Oh, this was supposed to be a pocket. Darn it. All right, that was supposed to be a pocket. Well, we got a packet down here and a packet down there, so we're good. But pay attention to her video. <laughs> no. I was just watching this this morning. That's what made me get out of bed. Okay. So that's the gist of it. And then, oh, I don't have my twine. Let's see. I guess we can use a little of this. She just used regular cotton um, paper. Or, I'm sorry, um, ribbon. Or, not ribbon. String. Just plain string. And I got that downstairs because I was tying up my tomatoes. So. Okay, and then you can do your, your twirly things. I think I would definitely put um, cardstock on this. Okay, so that is a pathetic, <laughs> <laughs> so what I would do, we got to decorate it because that's going to drive me nuts, um, we could do, let's 
I could do rip paper, but I printed some off instead, so we'll use that. Tell when I'm doing something new, I don't talk. Because I'm worried about messing it up more. <laughs> Not worried, but. Okay, that's cool. That's good. And then general store ish. Oh, you know what? I got from. These are so cute. And being it's a general store, so we carry anything, I think. Yep. We're going to do this. And this is Damo Prince, A D A M O. Patty and Maggie shared it last night on uh, Patty Lang's live. And that is a beautiful, beautiful beat up old book. We're gonna, yeah, put that right there. <clears throat> and by decorating that, I'm taking away that it's crooked. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, trying to. I might just keep this as a prototype, <clears throat> prototype, prototype, whatever. <clears throat> I don't really want to use too much color, believe it or not. Oh, there we go. Just something. Something like that. Actually, you might as well go all out and use a cheesecloth. That reminds me, no, I don't have it wet painted or uh, the wax plugged in, but we could always wax it. So, this is a good way. Her thing was getting rid of all the scrap paper, but I don't really have a lot of scrap paper. I don't use a lot of paper pads, unfortunately. So. But I think we are in our next live. We're going to try to use some uh, some of our paper pads up. <clears throat> so. Well, that's getting cute. Okay. I'm happy. Er. We're happier. Then I can put a word on it. Oh, I can get... Oh, I got some awesome stamps from... Um, this Christina Hill, but they're in my car because I took them on my lunch hour to work with them. So I would do a complete video because I also ordered a bunch of new embossing powders and ink because mine is getting a little old. And, uh, the kids got glitter mixed up with it, so it's not true embossing powder anymore, that's for sure. And I'm going to just use the word. These, I think, came from Trace, one of Tracy's Fox kits. Because I literally have, I mix my kits up all the time. Unless I'm doing a design team project. And the only ones I do is, um, Shabba Dabba Doo Da. Well, Crafty Me, but that's all laces and stuff. Ooh, we'll have to do a lace one with. 
be creative. And you know me, I don't like a center thing. And then, of course, we're going to put a bow on it. I heard you all yelling, put a bow on it. <laughs> Probably right there. Because this is going to flip down. So that's perfect to go into one of my books. Okay, where's the... Uh-oh, where's the industry? Okay, I'm going to open this. And pull this up. So... You know we got to decorate this somehow. Um, that, that, this is shabby to do that. Like that. No. All right, well, we'll get there. I'll do something. That's pretty because it's all green. Oh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put that down. Put that down like that. And then make From Miss Lorna Taylor's kit, La Ville and Rose. Taylor made journals. I ordered a stamp from her. I can't wait to get it. We got stamps. It's so nice to see local girls. Well, local girls. I see the creative community making stamps. Pretty awesome. There, we'll just put that in there. It's like a little green. Um, actually, I could do that too because it just matches and it could be a little journaling space. Oh man, I can't cut straight today. Thank God it's Friday. Alrighty, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. And see, I got a whole stack of envelopes. I will show you when I am complete. Probably tonight's video. It's supposed to rain tonight, so it is Friday. And I don't have a whole lot of plans. Because I went out last night, the first time in a long time, with people. <laughs> with no masks. Okay, yeah, cool. Alrighty, guys, so that is a um, altered envelope into a policy folder. Alrighty, so I will see you guys later. Bye.